Welcome back to the Cricket Wireless SWAG Men's Basketball Virtual Media Day for the 2020-21 season. I'm your host, James Rett. We stay in the state of Mississippi, and we talk to a young man who has his first head coaching job in the SWAG as in Landon Bussey. He comes from Prairie View A&M, where he just walked away with his second SWAG title. Coach, thank you for joining us. And first of all, how does it feel to be a head coach in the SWAG? Oh, it's, it's a great opportunity. Um, I'm excited about the opportunity um, coming up from an assistant coach um, in the SWAC, um, being able to, you know, get a job, an opportunity to, to be a head coach. It's a great opportunity. I look forward to the season. Uh, first of all, a little bit about your background. Uh, you've had uh, one of the rare transitions. You've coached men and women. Correct. So, uh, and now head coach of men. How has that molded you into a head coach? Um, it definitely molded me um, to be more patient um, with these student athletes um, by talking to them and, and understanding that each student athlete is different. So you got to approach them differently. Um, and I think that, you know, when I was an assistant, um, Coach Smith, um, Byron Smith, the head coach at Fairview, did a great job of, um, you know, relying on me on different things and allowing me to, um, you know, showcase my abilities as far as coaching. And he prepared me to be a head coach. Let's talk about your coaching philosophy and your coaching style. Uh, what can we expect to see from you on the uh, sidelines and also when you're coaching your student athletes on the daily basis? Um, you can see energy from me. Um, I'm an intense guy. Um, I'm going to bring it every single day in practice. I'm going to bring it every single day in the game. Um, just by challenging my student athletes to be better every single possession, every single, every, every single day and every single game. Um, my philosophy is just going to you know, be a tough nose group. Um, challenge our um, opponents to score on the offensive end. So we're going to be very, very defensive minded. Um, we're going to play hard. You're going to see a scrappy team who's going to get after it every single day. Um, and most important thing, we, we got a lot of older guys. So, you know, we, we expect to come in here um, this year and, and make an impact in this league. Um, you got, you know, a lot of incoming guards coming in, two graduate transfers, um, Kirk Lee um, from Drexel University. You have um, Jacoby Ross, who's proven um, to be uh, uh, impactful in the SWAC, coming from Alabama State. Um, and then, you know, you have a, a returning guy who was second team all conference um, in Crosby. And you have two other seniors, three other seniors, um, post players um, that can, you know, impact the game. Kobe Wilson, Mark Carter, and Anthony Fairley. You have a, a guard, RNA Morris. For the senior as well. So we got, you know, six or seven senior guys. When you look at the players that you do have back, and I'm looking at their overall record, do you think it was a blessing that your first head coaching job was at Alcorn, the fact that they do have a winning record in the conference, they do have uh, a sense of winning, and you don't have to come in and instill that in this group? Absolutely. Um, and I think it starts with the, the tradition of Alcorn. Um, it's a winning mindset in this athletic department. Um, and these returning guys have um, proven to be winners. Um, now it's all about um, taking that next step. Um, and that next step is, you know, fulfilling these seniors um, last year on the court by challenging them every single day to get, be better. And hopefully, you know, at the end result that, you know, we'll be at the top. Uh, when you look at uh, some of the offensive stats, I mean, offensively, they did pretty good. They wanted the best in the conference, if not the best. Uh, how can you go in and enhance that and make what you saw from this team last year even better? Um, I think that, you know, we, we're going to try to create our offense uh, from the defensive end. So that's the biggest way we're going to enhance that by trying to get a lot of easy points off of the uh, defensive end, um, off of in transition, and also off of offensive rebounding. So I'm, we're going to enhance that by just by challenging um, other teams defensively. And I think that when we're able to start to get to the free throw line, get easy points in transition, get easy points off of turnovers, you can have them. <laughs> uh, let's step away from the court a little bit. A lot of things have been going on during the offseason as far as social justice. What have you said to your players about registering the vote and also about being active as far as speaking out in terms of social justice? Um, we talked to them about registering a lot, um, with our student athletes, you know, they have, um, registered to vote. Um, and so, you know, they're excited about that. Um, just as far as trying to make a change in the world. 
um, just try making a change, you know, putting their um, foot forward. Uh, and the injustice, you know, I, I let them speak on that as they as they feel comfortable with. But I did also, you know, tell them to read up on things. Um, also, you know, be careful your surroundings as far as when you when you're leaving this campus. You know, make sure that you uh, are being polite. Um, if it's to the police or whatever the case may be, sometimes that you just have to, you know, um, just let things go. Um, and, 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 but also standing your ground in, 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 a, in a respectful way um, to make sure that, you know, you make it back home safely to your bed and, and your parents and, and your, your loved ones are, um, you know, aren't worried about you at nighttime. So we talked about that a lot as far as just, you know, trying to do the right things, trying to, you know, read up on it, learn and also, you know, express your interest. All right, Coach, thank you so very much, and congratulations. Can't wait to see you on the sideline. Thank you. We're now happy to be joined by student-athlete Tremaine Crosby, the Laura, Mississippi native poised to lead the Alcorn State Braves. Tremaine, thank you for joining us. Great hamlet of Laurel, Mississippi, correct, Tremaine? Yes, sir, yes, sir. All right, Mr. Crosby joins us, and... First of all, uh, your feelings on your new coach, your new process, the new way of doing things at Alcorn. First, I want to say thank you for having me for this interview, Mr. Bear and the Sweat. But um, to get into it, I feel good going into my senior year. I feel good about Coach Bussey and his high energy and intensity. All right. Coach Bussey says that he wants the defense to give – more access to the offense this season. Uh, how do you think that's going to affect your game? Uh, it's going to enhance my game, actually. And, like, it's going to make my game go to another level, to be honest with you. So it's, like, it's going to be a great thing for me to have Bus as my head coach right now because he's going to take my defense to another level, which is going to advance my whole game to another level, not just from offensively. That's going to go up and defense is just going to go to another level. So it's, like, it's going to be a great enhancement from Bussy to do so. We just ready to get after it, ready. Do you take a, a more of a football mindset when you defend a person? Do you look <laughs> at them like, I'm just going to shut them down? Because I know sometimes you can be pretty physical out there. I mean, I just, it, it, it would come with pride and ego. You know, it's like my pride just not going to let this, one individual outdo me, you know, it's like, it get, whatever it go, whatever, you know, like, however the intensity and energy between me and my opponent is, whatever level they want to take it to, we're going to take it there. Because, like, I know with myself, the physicality is just naturally born in me. I'm just built different from most guys, so, so I'm going to take it as a football approach. But you look at my high school team, then like those guys now, some are in NFL, some are in college playing right now. So it's like, okay, the physicality was just on a different level from my hometown, like where I'm from. So it's like, I ain't gonna say I take a football to Proton. I just take it with moxie and pride on the defensive end. Oh, uh, this season, what is it gonna take for Alcorn to hoist that trophy in March? Like Coach um, piggyback off Coach Bussin on sacrificing, guys gonna have the willing to sacrifice. We're willing to get out their comfort zone. We won't have to get, we're gonna have to get comfortable being uncomfortable, in my opinion. So it's gonna be, and then we're gonna have to stay efficient and being consistent. We can't be coming in some nights, great game, next night fall off. We can't, we ain't gonna be able to have to. We can't do that. We won't be able to do that, especially with these guys in these times on us building chemistry and things like that. We're going to have to be on point every night when we step on the court between the lines. going to have to be no mercy rule against everybody. It's going to have to be. One last thing before I let you go. You're a Mississippi native. Uh, there's a voting initiative to change the flag. How yeah. important is that, and how will that, in your eyes, change the state of Mississippi? In my eyes, from my standpoint, what I take on the LB – It'll be a major change, a major change. But then like, I would like for people to really do the research on both of the flags if you want to change the flags. Like the thing that people say happened under the Confederate, a lot of things happened under the same USA flag. So we're going to have to, if you want to break it all the way down, you have to really get to the truth of it. Like, if you want to be in the truth of it, you want to take an initiative, you're going to have to see the, the roots of it. And then we'll have to go from there. But in my eyes, it's going to be a definite change. All right. Well, thank you so very much, Mr. Crosby, and good luck to you. Thank you, Mr. Barrett.